Welcome back to Al TV. I'm very proud to say that today, we'll be speaking with a man who has been a major force in the world of hip hop. A man who has virtually redefined the genre and brought a new urgency and intensity to the music world with his insightful lyrics and dynamic flow. I've, I've been looking forward to this for a long time and it's an extreme honor to, for me to interview the very talented Sorry, right, man, I, I can't do this with a straight face. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Federline. <laughs> Kevin, welcome to LTV. Thank you. Uh, I, I know you've been getting this question from everybody, but I have to ask you anyway. What exactly did you think of my new album, Straight Outta Linwood? It was great. Really? You listened to it? Listened to it a couple of times. And you think it's great? It's crazy. Cool. Okay, well, just wanted to get that out of the way. So you, you really liked it, huh? You know, that's pretty much why I, I, I'm doing this. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're a fan. I guess I'll have to go kind of easy on you for this interview, huh? <laughs> so, when did you first realize you had absolutely no talent? Too soon? Okay, I'll, I'll work up to that one. Um, so, uh, I hear you're touring now. I am touring, yes. Uh-huh. Why? Um, I mean, after 9-11 and Katrina, hasn't this country suffered enough? You know, I, I, I just... Aren't you concerned about the emotional scarring and widespread psychological damage that a K-Fed concert tour could inflict on this nation? Uh, a little bit, not too much, you know? I, I, yeah, okay, whatever. So, um, I understand you recently got a new tattoo. Would you mind uh, showing it to us? Oh, very nice. I I'm just guessing here, but the F stands for what? Failure? Um, you know what? That tattoo works on a number of levels because it could stand for both failure and effing delusional. It was kind of perfect, you know? Yeah, excellent choice. So, how does it feel to have made an album that's been so universally panned by the critics? You know, I've had a lot of positive feedback from the album. Oh, really? You mean like this review? I would rather jam an ice pick repeatedly into both of my ears than endure listening to the steaming pile of horse feces again. Um, yeah, I mean, that's good to me, you know? That's, that's, it, it makes me happy that people are actually listening and, and that people are catching on. So, that's a compliment to you? That's the way I take it. Oh then you're a complete moron. Exactly. So, I guess the big question that nobody really feels like asking you is, what are your plans for the future? I'm, I'm probably gonna pick up an inbox and put it on the back of the bus too so I can start recording and getting <clears throat> ideas for the second album. <laughs> that's funny, for a moment there I thought you said second album. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Second album! Ah, oh, you crack me up. Anyway, uh, I understand that you actually got to make a music video for one of your songs. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe you shot it in a club. Can you tell us a little bit about the video? Um, you know, we, we wanted to just really shoot like the realest situation in the club, you know. Um, so we, that's what we did. I mean, we invited it, you know, everybody out to come out to the club and, and... And then, don't tell me, let me guess, you shot a bunch of people dancing in the club. Exactly. Wow. Well, that's a fascinating, unique concept. I hope you get video of the year for that. I did my first video in Vegas. Second video is hopefully coming soon. Oh, that's just so cute how you think there's going to be a second video. That's just adorable. Oh. So, how does it feel to have a closet full of wife beaters, but no wife? Uh... Have you given any thought to who you're going to impregnate and leech off of now? You know, well, I mean, we'll see what happens. Speaking of which, I understand that you're trying to get custody of your kids. Um, I mean, the kids you had with Brittany, not the practice ones. Mm -hmm. So, if you get custody, how will you be raising them? Will you be teaching them to inseminate and freeload the Federline way? I, I don't think I'll allow my kids to do it until after they're adults. 
That's probably a good idea. See, you are a responsible parent after all. Yeah, so there it is, you know. If you could work with any major recording artist, let's say one you haven't knocked up, who would it be? Um, you know, I don't know. There's so many people that I could, I could see myself working with, you know, from Snoop Dogg to Busta Rhymes to even people from the past, you know. Yeah, like Eddie Cantor or Beethoven? That'd be good. Hey, maybe we could get together and build a time machine like in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Cool. Let's talk a little bit about your circle of friends. Uh, what kind of people do you like to hang out with? I like somebody who can come up to your face and tell you the craziest thing that you've ever had told to you, but they're being honest about it and they're real and it's blunt and straightforward. I mean, that's, that's the person I am. Really? You mean like if somebody got right up in your face and said that you were an ignorant, no talent, white trash, fortune squandering, vanilla ice wannabe loser? You'd be okay with that? That's pretty much the person that I am. Uh, you can hate me now and, and love me later. Well, I guess that sounds pretty reasonable. All except for the love me later part. Um, seriously now, seriously, for the record, exactly how much do you suck? Um, a lot, you know. Um, Would it be accurate to say that you're the biggest douchebag ever? Ever, yeah. And your album is a crime against humanity? Um, yeah, pretty much. So you admit your songs are terrible, right? You know, with a few exceptions. Now, now, let's get real here. For the record, all your songs suck. So? And your rapping sucks? Right. Yeah, and let's see, um, what else? All my lyrics suck. <laughs> oh yeah, your lyrics definitely suck. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, re really, I I'm kind of curious. Is there anything you can do? Um, I'm a very real person, you know, and that's what I aspire to be over anything. Yes, well, I can see that you're not a robot or an android, so it's nice that you've been able to achieve at least one of your goals. Um, are you concerned about the fact that you're headed straight towards oblivion? That's the direction that I want to go, you know. I'm Great! Well, looks like everything's working out for you then. So, now that your marriage and your career have fallen apart, I guess you'll have a lot of free time on your hands. You know, I, I heard a crazy rumor that you were seriously considering actually reading a book sometime in the future. The book thing, these are all just ideas that I've touched on that I, I you know, it's going to take time to, to put it together. So, I mean, you know, hopefully by the end of next year. Yeah, well, getting through an entire book, that's, uh, <laughs> let's not overreach. Um, I assume in the meantime, you'll be, what, sitting around in your underwear, playing a lot of video games? Yeah, I'll probably start doing the video game thing. Uh, Eating potato chips off your chest, right? That's right. Yeah. I'm guessing you'll be peeing in a jar so you won't have to get up and go to the bathroom? Of course, of course. Well, sounds like you've got a bright future ahead of you. I wouldn't give up entirely on show business, though. I mean, you could always have a future in I don't know, gay porn? Uh, if I get the right role, I'm there, you know. Oh, would you look at that? It appears your 15 minutes are up. I'm afraid we'll have to say goodbye now. But thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here on Al TV. I mean, it's, all, it's always a pleasure. I'm sure I'll be back on there again, you know. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath. We'll be right back.